Hi guys, how are ya? How's mask making? Sorry I can't be there with ya. Uh, but I thought I'd go over a little bit of the painting on this. Now you should have got to a place where you have your background color and you know don't get attached to um, too attached to the outcome because it's really hard to make uh, neutral colors with this. So I'm making the new neutral colors. I'm going to show you just a little bit about paint mixing and then applying the color to this. Now I'm just doing this one like it's a, a man's face with some bushy eyebrows and a beard and um, making them kind of look old. So I'm going to give you, I'm just going to show you a few techniques on this video for mixing paint and applying it to your mask. Okay, um, I'd love to see them if you guys want to post them on Bloom. So you got all your colors out and open. Every time you use a color, you want to wash it out. So you want to have clean water. You've got your two size brushes paper towels if you need it or a towel, cover your area, make sure you're covered, get, get all set up before you start doing painting because it's a mess as you know. Pull your sleeves back so you don't get it right here, that's a real easy place to get it. Uh, now the first thing that I would suggest is putting down a darker base color, so I'm going to open up my black dip in just a little bit and see I'll do it this way and just kind of dab it on there so it doesn't so you're not really unless you want a, like a um, a nice solid beard I would just dab it on around the mouth around the side here maybe a little bit down here to make it look like his beard is a little long. Okay, I already put some up in the eyes, but go ahead and put it like right on the edge. So it looks like the eyebrows are really attached to the mask. Um, it would, it'll make it a little fuzzy, but that's okay. Fuzzy down here. If you have a nose, you could add a little bit. So my, my brush barely has any paint on it and um, it's almost dry. So when you use kind of a dry brush paint, um, paint brush, you can apply things um, like shadows. So I'm just putting a couple of shadows along the edge of the nose. Right, so it would be, it's like right here. Let's see where we're at. Okay, three minutes. You could do that around the edge of the eye. So I'm just using like a dry brush that still has a little bit of, so you're going to create a little bit of drama around the eye. Okay. If you want to put a little bit where the cheeks are, it's just kind of a diagonal line. Now again, I don't really know what you're, um, I know you're doing Greek masks, so you're not using bright, bright colors. You're probably using a little bit more neutral colors. Um, then you could take a little bit of white, go ahead and wash your brush out. dry it off. You don't want the brush very wet with tempera. I'm going to just dip a little bit into my white, come over here and just dab it. So we're trying to make it look like hair. So I'm just dabbing it on top of the black. Here I mixed a little paint that kind of got a little green trying to get brown so I'll show you how to do that really quick. Put some up here. You could do highlights on the top of the cheek 
highlights on the top of the nose. So a highlight would be just white. So wherever, see my nose, right here, right here, and the forehead, they would all have little highlight marks on them. Uh, and so mixing, uh, I'm gonna try to do a neutral color and I'm gonna start with orange. So you always start with your lighter color. You start with your lighter color. And I think I had, uh, jump over to this one because I had some food coloring in that. So you start with your lighter color, so I'm going to do orange. And um, the color on the opposite side of the color wheel, which is blue, now this is a lighter blue, so it's not going to be exact, would go into the orange. And theoretically, that should neutralize the colors and make a brown. So it did. It's kind of like a beigey brown. But you're going to take your brown, come over here, dab it on. See how I'm kind of layering the colors? So you started with black, added a little white. You're going to dab over it with some black, I mean, some of the neutral color that you just made. I'm going to put some up here. And down here, around the sides. Try to include all of the places. Okay. Now, if you have lips, uh, don't use straight red. Maybe add a little bit of um, this brown that I just made from the orange and the blue. And then add a little bit of red to it so it tones it down just a little bit. Okay. Um, we're still good. Let's see. So that was the orange first, a little bit of blue. So that's what that color made. That wasn't too bad. That would be a nice flesh tone. Now, if you want to darken that, you add a tiny bit of black. If you want to lighten it, you add the white, and that will lighten it. Let's see what the white does to this. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white. Now, if you're going to cover the whole face, you want to make sure you make a batch that will cover the area that you're working on. Okay? So that made it just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna come in here and just dab on a little bit more. So painting is about layering and it'll create a nice hair-like formula for your masks, okay? Some up here on the eyebrow so they match. Okay, there you go. He's getting, he's looking like a, a man now. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> um, let's see what else can I show you? You could make the stick dark so it kind of goes away. So go ahead and paint the whole thing like I showed you in the beginning. Um, and then paint your mask, and the beard will stand out. Maybe paint. Okay, I can't hold it now, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Paint all the sides. You could paint back here if you want see how that would that'll make it stand out more now if you want to go back in you could add a little bit of or you could use your smaller brush and that would that would be and you could add some black bring that black back up 
So you can see how using layering, the paints will get what you want. Layering the paint will get what you want. Just make sure you clean out your brush and you dry your brush before you go into doing any more painting. So have fun. And um, if you have any questions, just send them in an email. And uh, But this, this should take care of it. Okay. Okay, we will see you uh, with Shrine Building um, in our next video. Okay, take care, you guys. Stay well. Wash your hands. See ya.